Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how I do corrections on my uh, gel nails. I actually use gel nail polish without color, so top and base coats without any color, but I will show you how to do the fringe tip uh, with them with the white colored nail polish. And the whole procedure here took me about an hour and a half. Uh, the correction usually I do about once in two weeks and then I usually do brand new um, creation, <laughs> so build up of gel. On the nails I do maybe once in a month and a half I want to say or so and usually every two weeks I just keep doing the corrections because they work better for me. Okay. I'll show you some of the supplies that I use, at least the ones that I do recommend to you, the ones I don't, you might not want them then. We'll see, maybe I'll do a separate video with them. Okay. One thing, if you take away anything from this video, is to please, if you do gel nails at home, or even if you go to technicians, please make sure to apply a broad spectrum sunscreen on your hands just before you cure your nails and just simply um, dehumidify them. <laughs> Basically use rubbing alcohol to wipe off just your nail beds itself, but keeping all of your beautiful skin on your hands intact and not damaged by the rays from the lamps. Okay, so let's start. So this is the before look and so far all I've done so far is just removed the previous nail polish with acetone based nail polish remover and it helped me um, actually soften up the, the top layer of the previous gels so I know it doesn't look like the best <laughs> work but I need to fix a few things up I'm going to apply cuticle solution just to soften up my cuticles real quick Usually I use something that I can just toss in the wash if I have to. I have a lot of these uh, bibs, <laughs> little things for Mila that I used to use. So now that we put our cuticle solution on it, I'm going to try and just push some of the cuticles out of the way. First thing you will notice is that I don't really follow any kind of guidelines or anything that's usually suggested. That's what I think. <laughs> Just because I am not bragging, but I literally did not look up one tutorial on how to do any of this. Um, most of this stuff I've been doing for like, I don't know, 10 years, I want to say. <laughs> Close to 10 years now. And before... I used to do gel nails, but not as often. Then I went all natural nails. Then eventually I changed back into the gel um, top coats like this, which are so much easier to do than to do them with brushes and all the powders and all that kind of stuff. Okay, and I usually don't actually cut my cuticles. I just kind of clean up the surrounding edges here. I usually keep my shape pretty much neutral to what it wants to be by itself and usually it's this shape I don't even know what this shape is um, as far as I know you're supposed to match the shape of your tip of your nail to the shape of your cuticle for it to look symmetrically pleasing and usually honestly this my nails go this way just by themselves sometimes if I have a square edge like in a week or two it will rub off into a much softer look anyway so most of my nails always go into this I'm so used to seeing a lot of very symmetrical extremely artificial looking nails nowadays that sometimes I kind of appreciate small things that are uneven such as one nail is longer than the other one <laughs> and it makes it look more real and I don't know, I try to make sure that they're similar shape and similar size, not like one completely off and then the other one's super long, but just kind of in the same direction. <laughs> so I did decide to go a little bit shorter, you guys. <laughs> and you're gonna laugh at me, but I'm using toe clippers. <laughs> it's like these massive um, clippers that you're actually supposed to use for your toes instead of those little fidgety ones. So. 
I'm just gonna go a little bit shorter. I wonder now if I'm gonna be on one of those shows like whatever manicurist reacts to to an advice doing <laughs> their own thing because I've been watching a lot of the like hairdressers reacting to people doing uh, DIY coloring jobs and stuff and they're hilarious. So I bet now I'm gonna be on one of those shows. They're gonna review me as a amateur. Okay, so now I chopped off a little bit of my length, just a little bit, just to kind of clean it up and just make it a little bit more even. And I'm just gonna go around and polish it off, okay? So this is my tool, and I usually use this tip, even though it's probably not the right way to do, but that's the one I usually remove the surface layer with. Please don't be scared, okay? And okay, and I start I start slowly removing the thin layer off the top, and I go around my cuticle and close to my cuticle like this, and just polish. Should have close. Okay. So as you could see, I went out around my nail bed right here and I tried smoothing out the, um, the little part that was starting to separate from my nail and evened it out more with the existing gel polish here. And here, I didn't really try to remove too much of the surface as much as I was trying to even it out a bit more to make it more smooth shape here and just remove the shiny layer just so I don't have to apply many more layers because I actually don't need a lot of depth and size right here by the bot by the top of my nail bed I need it mostly at this part where it usually breaks so the tricky part here is to make everything even but the tip to be um, still looking skinny and majority of the chunk of the gel to be right here in the middle so between the tip and the top that's what i've noticed for myself is very important is that this part right here where the white of your nail starts is the weakest part for me and that's the part that should be reinforced the most versus any other part okay so i'll just clean them all up real quick and i'll show you after So now I'm going to dump this out, wash my hands, and be back. So here's the look at the polished correction. So that's the stage before applying the base coat. And I did not use alcohol yet either to um, dehydrate the nail bed. So ladies, if you are doing your nails at home, and really when you go to the salon as well, please bring in your high SPF uh, sunscreen, okay? And make sure you apply it before you use your UV light. Cannot stress it enough. Try not to rub it into your cuticles, obviously, but just apply it generously on the top of your hand and the top of your fingers. And if you must, you can wait a few more minutes until it fully absorbs into your fingers and then just ask them to please clean off your nail beds but not the skin around okay I don't know how to, my how much more to preach it but to please take care of your hands you can create a lot of damage to your hands if you don't protect them and the UV machines no this is filthy sorry so this time I'm now going to use a little bit of alcohol on the pad. Okay. And I will wipe off just the beds. 
which is what a, the only area that I'm actually going to be applying things to. So the rest of my skin is protected. Great, that's all we want. So, and I usually apply a very, very thin layer. Push a little bit towards the cuticle and then just spread it. Spread it. Just a little bit at the tip to end. Quickly dry for just a sec. And on the next nail, same thing. Thin layer. Push it just a bit towards the cuticle and then spread on the left. Push, push. And spread on the right, the middle, and a little bit of the tip. Rip over the excess and quick dry. And make sure the sides are covered so the whole surface, at least the top surface of your nail, is fully submerged into some amount of the gel base, okay? So do you see how it's already self-leveling and becoming much smoother than the first layer? Just if you compare to the next nails, you see how they have a lot of texture. And this one already does not. Okay, so that's good. That's what we want. Okay, we'll let it level out. Good. Wipey for the alcohol part thing. Okay. So now we're done with the base coat and I'm just now going to dry it a little bit. While we're drying, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about um, how I do my French nail tip. And I bought this. Um, soak off nail gel in white and I actually apply that to the tips of my nails and then they gradually come off eventually kind of even out as I do these corrections I really don't have to do them because I do have somewhat pretty prominent uh, tips as well already but I do sometimes like to go more uh, neutral and not have nail polish for example for for some time at all and we'll try that today i think okay i take very little amount as little as i can onto the brush and i usually just do strokes like this down 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 sometimes it's not enough as you can tell. okay and it becomes a very neutral French tip. It's not significant enough to be extremely white. I don't know how else to say it. Um, it doesn't look fake, okay? That's what I think. Okay, and we'll pop it in again for just a few seconds so that it stays. It won't be cured, but it will stay. I dried up my base coat and my French tip look. My middle finger is way smaller. <laughs> the French tip part is way smaller. Oh well. You'll have to do you guys. I'm serious. I'm not going to fix it. So now it's time to apply our top coat to seal it all in place. Okay. And same way we're using very thin layer because you do not want to flood you know and same way I push up and I spread it out and I'm just kind of even out on each side and sometimes I still have a lot on my brush so I just wipe it off more and a bit at the bottom okay wipe the corner 
corners. See if you need to level or not. I don't think I do much. Okay, and then pop it right in for a sec. Okay guys, so this is the final look. And the whole thing took me from start to finish about an hour and a half. As I noted before, I do these corrections about once in two weeks or so. And do the fully brand new set of nails. So refresh fully all of the gel coats from the naked nail about once in two months or so. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Thank you so much for watching.